Gemini, a global leader in consulting, technology services and digital transformation, publishes its first half results for 2018. Paul Amanam, Group Chairman and CEO, welcome. Hello. It seems the good momentum we saw at the beginning of the year is confirmed with these results. Can you share some of the highlights? Absolutely. Not only did we maintain the momentum, but we actually accelerated. The growth in the second quarter reached 8.7, leading to an overall growth over the semester of 8%. And we could accelerate our transition to the new digital and cloud that now reaches 45% of the group revenue. With spectacular wins like Virgin Voyages, like Royal Bank of Canada and many others. So a very good semester, and I would add that we could combine that with a new step in operating margin where we have delivered 20 bits, so 0.2% of improvement in our operating margin. And would you say that this growth acceleration is visible everywhere around the group? There are some spectacular achievements. The growth in North America is uh, rather unique. We deliver 17% growth over each one and even more in the second quarter. We also have a, a double digit growth in Nordic and in Germany. Uh, continental Europe is doing very well. The UK is still negative. It's a little bit the dark spot. It's mainly the end as announced of a large public contract where the private sector is stable and some nice signs of recovery in Latin America. Now, digital and cloud, which represent 45% of revenues by the end of H1, that's great. Where do you see our plans for further portfolio rotation? The first point, I want to stress that there are innovation everywhere. So in our traditional service offering, like uh, maintenance, uh, traditional outsourcing, there is a lot of new things like uh, automation and IA is pervasive. Artificial intelligence will irrigate the whole portfolio. But when we relate to the digital transformation, so digital and cloud, 45% today, we will certainly exceed 50 soon. We will probably get to 60% and maybe there because the digital transformation will expand further but cloud will become everything. And what about priorities for H2 and beyond into 2019 for really pushing value creation to Capgemini's clients? Two big priorities for the group. The first one is invest in strategic relationship with key accounts. So we have, uh, I have one of my deputies, so a chief operating officer, I manage that, in charge of that, that big chapter, which is deepening our relationship, selling the whole portfolio and establishing Capgemini as their strategic partner. The second one is managing in an agile way the portfolio of offerings. So it's the other chief operating officer, Thierry Delaporte, that is in charge of managing the portfolio of offers with some emerging, some rejuvenation and some scouting, some early signs of what will be the, the, the offerings of tomorrow. With this strong dynamic, what is the outlook for the rest of 2018 for full year? So first, I am in the happy position to have to revisit the revenue guidance because we had guided for 6 to 7 percent. And with our very good first half, I am now in a position to commit that we will deliver slightly above 7 percent full year revenue at constant currency and we maintain the guidance of operating margin, so 12 to 12.2 percent operating margin, and a free cash flow generation above 1 billion. Paul Almalan, Chairman and CEO of Capgemini, thank you. Thank you.